What's up guys, this is Nathan with Sick Cars and Trucks and today I'm at a place that needs no introduction. As you can see, I'm at Gas Monkey Garage here in Dallas, Texas. A few cool rides hanging out here in the parking lot. We're gonna check those out and then we're gonna make our way into the merch store and check out some awesome merch and then we're gonna go inside the shop and get a full tour of the garage. So over here we have the uh, corporate offices where all the business stuff goes down. We got a Ford Econoline with the Gas Monkey logo looking cool. Over here we got a Ford 350 Wrecker. Love the look of this old Wrecker, that's really cool. Nice. Let's make our way in here to the merch store and check out some awesome merch. So you walk in here, you got the little collage of all the Gas Monkey stuff going on. It is Christmas time, so we got the Gas Monkey Christmas tree with some air fresheners and Hot Wheels. Here we got an old rat rod here in the showroom. Really cool. some test of merch this car was at the SEMA show up in Vegas we were at a couple weeks ago this is not a paid video guys it should be but it's not so Mr. Richard Rawlings if you're watching this come on bro let's do some business together here we have so overheard a gentleman a minute ago say that this is actually Richard's father's car 1965 Mustang GT350 Fastback. Beautiful car here. Love that white with blue stripes. Next to it, this car is called the Digger. This is a street legal dragster with a supercharged big block. So this car actually runs and drives down the street. So <laughs> it'd be really cool seeing this thing cruising down the road. Really wild looking body on this car. Got the parachute packed in back there. You see the digger. Here we got an old school dirt sprint car it looks like. Really cool little car here. Ford 8, Ford V8. We got some children's apparel. We got some Gas Monkey episodes playing up here on the screen. Got the Gas Monkey Hot Wheels. Got a ton of those in my collection. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Sinjin from Gas Monkey Garage. All right, and we're gonna take a tour of the shop back here. So let's go check out some sick cars and trucks back here. Sure. That's a nice jacket. Thanks, man. Texas Skid Mart. I've been stuck seeing that truck like three times in the last couple months. So really cool to see it here again. Just can't get enough of it. Right? It's, I love it. Saw it at SEMA and then Turkey Drag and here we are again. What do we got here? What is this? Uh, this is a 1972, 1972 Riviera. Nice. Buick Riviera boat tail? Yep. This was um, a project that we had on Fast and Loud that uh, we quite never got to the got to the end of it. Uh, like Richard had this like crazy idea for this like classic car, like supercar, like like creation, and we uh, we kind of bit off a little bit more than like we could chew. But uh, now we're still kicking the idea like around, so wow. it might get built like eventually. Cool project. What is the, what engine is this? Um, What's up, dude? How's it going? Good. Here we got uh, Brandon. Yes, sir. How are so you? Brandon with Gas Monkey here. Met him out at Turkey Drag. This is a cool project here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. sick. So we brought it to SEMA uh, back in uh, 2019. Um, just, just like as it sits. So even though it wasn't like a like finished car, like it was still cool to see it sit in raw metal 
sometimes uh, it's cooler to see them like this because you can your imagination just goes crazy right yeah so exactly like, yeah thinking of a million things of what what it could be all tubbed out cool is that called can can suspension i believe so sick all right let's go check out the skid mark here real quick what's up dude how you doing good seeing you today yes sir that was an awesome show yes sir just got back from pri yesterday or sunday is it a good one too yeah that was sick hell yeah nice jtx forge wheels favorite part of this truck is the steering wheel oh yeah <laughs> that's so clean love that interior check it check this out guys didn't get this close of a look at it at the shows because there's always a big crowd around it nice oh nice headliner that was super clean Sweet. love the paint job on this truck so where what's the story on the paint job so the so the paint job actually comes from like richard rawlings is uh new um like hot sauces so there's uh, like there's three and uh so like there's um the texas burnout um there's tech there's uh texas green light and then there's texas skid mark and so they're all three like different colors so hence like the stripes in it cool i love it so all yeah right. it was nice. all kind of based like around that and then hence like the name the texas skid mark cool nice little background there on the yeah. paint for you guys this is a one piece front grill, right? correct? I've seen lots of talk about this grill on online. The most expensive front grill. <laughs> guys, <laughs> um, at Titans of, of like CNC absolutely killed this thing. Yeah, that is sick. That is really, really nice. Wow. And then we've got garage beer here. So I uh, can't say too much about that like right now, but uh, like you'll see like Gas Monkey uh team up with them okay here cool. very very soon okay cool little inside scoop for you guys there got some builds going on back here what's what we got here uh this is actually the opposite of building we uh, okay. are cleaning everything up right now okay um so uh after after like years and years of just not of just like non-stop builds we've uh We've kept quite the stuff like back there. So um, like Richard's now having them like pull it all off and, How you doing? and Richard, see man, how you doing? like what we have. Okay, there's tons. Nice. Realistically, we're fixing to piss a bunch of people off because if somebody was here and wanted it, then I could probably sell it for 30 bucks or 50 bucks or maybe even a hundred dollars. But if you try to sell something like that, online and then you got to pack it then you got to mail it then you got to do all this stuff and then you got to deal with somebody that goes well brand new they're 72 dollars and you've got yours advertised for 35 dollars do you think you'd take 20 and i'm like you just wasted too much of my time yep. <laughs> so that being said you're about to have a huge garage so what you're about to have a garage sale? <laughs> yeah essentially i mean there's cool. and there's stuff uh, like that whole top shelf up there is cool. everything left for that riviera oh wow cool uh, if we ever get finish it we're debating on if we're gonna finish it or not or if we take the engine out and the good stuff out and put in something else sweet but yeah like we pulled out like while. we pulled out rims we somehow found uh we, we only found three of them the fourth one like walked off like somewhere <laughs> found a blower like back there pulled uh two ferrari engines like wow. out of there so, i mean it, there was a lot of stuff like that <laughs> wow yeah and then over here this is gonna be like our last like big content of the year um we're gonna put that inside of there what so and this the hoss fly yeah so oh, we're cool kind of we cut the entire bottom out of this azetta and it fits perfectly so we're gonna get rid of the steering wheel so the steering brakes and throttle and everything will still be ran through the azetta what? That connected is cool. to this the small block back here are uh, these hoosiers the, going on it yeah that is freaking yeah insane. it's gonna then obviously you got the headers right there so we're thinking about you see where that kind of scaling is on the back part of the izetta mm -hmm. building the exhaust through there wow cool um yeah just make it where it's goofy nice can, I, can I look at it <laughs> have you seen how many kenny's yeah, just nice yeah, sticking? Yeah. check it out yeah. this is a cool build here so that is going in this. That is sick. No, yeah. some pretty solid meat. Yeah. Oh, sorry, shit. 
Oh, nice Hoosiers going on. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen the video, but we uh, we attached a little lawnmower trailer to this and drove it down Harry Hines, which is major road right up here. And uh, a little scary, a little, a little <laughs> sketch, but it's fun. Josh had a, as he calls it, redneck heaven. But <laughs> that it's is a pretty cool. cool little thing. Yeah, we got to sell that auction or the collection in, um, what is that, Wisconsin? About yeah. 30 plus cars. Uh, kept this one and then sold the rest at no reserve at the Auburn Indiana auction Labor Day weekend this year. Cool. It was really cool. So what's the plan with it? Is it going to be street legal? Yeah, or? I mean it depends on what your term is. <laughs> yeah, right. Legal is. <laughs> right. There's a lot of non-street legal stuff that happens on here <laughs> yeah, <times>. yeah. <laughs> right. uh, So I doubt this will make be a cool car show cruiser or something. Yeah, yeah. Like okay. the, our big thing next year is we're obviously with SEMA this year, we brought four different builds. Um, but next year, we're kind of ramping it back up to what people know Gas Monkey for is building badass cars, having good times um, with good people. And so, like, we'll have really badass builds, full builds, and then fun stuff like this, whether it's or putting a Ferrari engine inside of that Dodge A100. Yeah. That would be cool, a Ferrari engine inside of that. Which would be really That would be wild. Around. Yeah. Um, but Very cool. Some of the leftovers from the test up that we are still not finished with. It's currently being all the programming stuff so being fixed in Scottsdale Legacy EV. We get back here. We're gonna redo the interior and as well as kind of the lighting on it. We had 30 days in it and we wanted something presentable at SEMA. People were like, "Oh, it looks unfinished." It is unfinished. We we had 30 days in it. So, so this is remains of the Testarossa, the EV Testarossa. And we have like wow. four other boxes just filled like parts. That's insane. That's really cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool just to see this pile of parts here. Yeah. I didn't even I didn't see the Testarossa at SEMA. Somehow I missed it. Oh really? I don't, I don't, yeah. It I don't should know. be back here later this week. Actually. Cool. Um, but yeah, that's our one of our mock badges. We remade the badging for the Testa. Nice. Lightning bolt straight from the groin. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. So I'll we'll take you next door. So this is the monkey trap. Um, and this is our showroom, I guess you say, Richard's personal collection. Nice. Along with this assortment of stuff. Richard loves stuff. So did you guys buy this? Did Richard buy yeah, this? We, we, uh, okay. So this was um, Marsh at NTX who does our audio. Mm -hmm. um, this was his car. Then we had a event called What the Truck, Talk and Tires. We'd be talking in tires probably once a quarter. And he brought this and Richard loves goofy, weird stuff and had to have it. Maybe he had to have it, yeah. yeah. I saw this out at Battle in Bama. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think its cousin was at a turkey drag last week. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is funny they were both painted at the same time by two completely different people that didn't know they were painted that way really so wow. they look that similar like identical cool. almost yeah this is a geo tracker right geo tracker, geo -tracker here really cool got a really nice audio set oh, up in the back of it too really nice stereo system yeah here's some of the leftovers from the wisconsin nest we all the cars plus just tons of memorabilia and nice oh that van over there that's my oh, style yeah. i like we'll the old go, here's Ulysses. So the Testarossas we bought, we had five of them. One of them was the Hero Mint car um, that was in. All five of them were in Infinite, the Mark Wahlberg movie. Um, so we put one of the uh, totaled ones. I think it's outside. It's destroyed. It's the worst one. We put it on a trailer. Actually welded a hitch and everything to the Hero car to the frame. Didn't destroy anything and put the trailer on that and towed it i don't know if you saw that towed a ferrari with a ferrari yeah that was cool and then in the process we didn't realize it but this hood uh the hinges were not actually working and so we're driving by uh love field in dallas and all of a sudden i'm in the left lane filming it and there goes the hood <laughs> and it's funny because shit happened not happens which i think we forgot <laughs> a letter uh was spray paint off beforehand and yeah, so we just have That's funny. tons of crap over here that is everywhere. What? And this is this all is cool. Ferrari parts. 
Uh, oh, Paolo Ferrari parts. Yeah. That's cool. Absolutely everything you can think of, is, and all this is from the Testarossas. So how many Testarossas did it take to make uh, the one? One, really. Uh, we... Robin, or Robin guess, a few parts. I mean, yeah, we didn't have we to steal too much. Parts. We are thinking about, I uh, think the other, there's another one next door, uh, but putting, a dick, we're thinking about a couple different engines. Uh, I don't know if y'all, if you know what like a shooting brake Ferrari is, it's or a bread wagon. So it's like station wagon look, um, doing that on Tesserosa. So building this out, everything's, I don't even know how to explain it. Yeah, I mean, built out where either we have front engine swap, chassis swap, we'll put a big ass LS in it, or we're thinking about putting it back here, still the engine, all that, but putting a Lamborghini V12 engine cool. in it just to, because fuck the yep. Italians. <laughs> yeah. Sick. I love that. Yeah, and this is good old Ulysses. Yes, this is right up my alley here. I went to the Van Nationals up in Sterling, Colorado. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think this, this one's some type of yeah, award, this one, the like golden eagle. What? Okay, Pacal yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Golden eagle's Pacal like the Pacal prestigious. Yeah, yeah I mean, this what? thing is sweet. This is cool. Can yeah. we look inside of it? Oh, yeah, yeah totally. It was uh, right out of Kansas. We were planning to go this pick it up, so but we bought cool. it. You got to open, gotta uh, open it. That's yeah. a real rope on the yeah, grill. No, <laughs> that is the, so cool. The details in this is freaking crazy. We were planning to go pick it up and drive it back, but it was what? during the whole FEMA crunch, so we're like, oh, let's just get it delivered here. This is awesome. Yeah, there were like 850 of these up there at the Bay of Nationals. I don't know how to get that door open, Brandon. Good. We get a peek. Nice, got the blue shag. This thing is freaking epic. Wow. Oh, I love it. Very cool. Yeah, I was trying to get a little bit dark in here. Hopefully you guys can see, but. Really cool. Yeah, this van's pretty freaking sweet. The paintwork on it's amazing too, the airbrush. Yeah. And probably painted in the 70s, you guys know? Think, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Actually, uh, it's dated somewhere. Uh, it's painted by Mike Pierce. In 78. 78. Wow. 78, yeah, Independence, Missouri. See, like mini trucks are cool because they're like built in the 90s and yeah. stuff and just yeah. like the nostalgia of them but this is a whole nother level built no it is yeah in the 70s and this and it still looks it's insane like this. yep yeah they don't it's super cool it's an art to it that's truly not out there anymore let's not overlook the mercedes party bus i mean that's <laughs> not cool right, compared to the other yeah. stuff here but wow that's pretty sick too lots yeah, of cool stuff just sitting around like with cars like richard pretty much loves to buy anything so all of these like shelves and and just stuff is just everywhere from just like random stuff yep. that he finds like we have a hippo head up there but like no reason why that's there <laughs> the random hippo head up on the shelf yep. <laughs> that's awesome all right now we're getting into richard's personal collection right yeah wow. so yeah he just bought this it's a uh prince replica from our friend Ben, he uh, builds replicas. He built Dave Chappelle's replica bike. Uh, no reason to have it. He won't ride it, but it's just cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, why, why not? And then that's the, from episode one of Fast and Loud. Wow. That is the car. A lot of history behind this yep. car. And then just assortment of really cool cars. And we haven't done anything to this. We're probably gonna sell this as is, but very, very clean, original. Uh, Mercury Cougar, green on green, super, super clean. Don't see many of those, especially that clean. And then, yeah, just badass cars. Nice. Got this what? on Bring a Trailer. This is actually a complete body. <laughs> There's nothing to it. It can never be street legal. But just assortment of random demon parts that are all come together. That we collected, yeah. like, over time. And I think we, have, I think we only had to ask Dodge for one or two parts and we just kind of like piece it like together wow. just kind of make our own <laughs> shell so is this like a co-part car that you guys just bought and pieced together um or i think it originally started with the hell with the hellcat body and um we acquired like the parts and just kind of like sort of stuck it like together to kind of mock up uh, what a what a demon like would be before the demon came out what okay okay that's pretty cool that's really cool yeah and this is 
one of the cars that we will be building next year um, will not look like this when we're done, but let's just say that we're going to have a lot of power, it's going to be a little bit wider, lower to the ground, and tri a one of a kind kind of car. Uh, this is a, a big thing we've been kind of playing for the past nice. year or so. This thing's super clean. Oh, How many miles are on it? It's got to be super, like really low miles. Wow. So y'all going to blow this thing apart and put tons of power in it and slam it to the ground. Yep. Nice. Love it. What gas mic does yep. that? Yep. <laughs> I love it. And then Richard's Trans Am. Super freaking clean. Uh, did Dave Paul do this one? Yeah, this is um, from um, like a store, a muscle car. Uh, it's not the exact car, but Richard had uh, this exact combination of... of um, car back whenever um, he was in in high school so this is kind of him like reliving like his uh his former youth cool if you had this back in high school you yeah, were the no yeah you were the stuff back then no, this car is Those super, things super clean t-tops too and some of his daily drivers he's got his first ferrari this 599 he'll never sell that i think it's bad luck too <laughs> Sell your first Ferrari, um, then 48 Spider. Love that car. Nice. Can't fit in it, but I love Thanks it. <laughs> then this is one of his friends, uh, 911. Super, super clean. It's the exact model from Bad Boys One, right? Yep. Wow. Cool. Uh, opening scene. From the opening Boys scene, yeah. Oh, cool. And his Rolls Royce. This is the car we're currently giving away. 2024 Mustang Dark Horse. Nice. So in any other scenario, this Rolls Royce would be like amazing, but here it's like kind of amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like, that's, yeah, that's this was crazy. one of the last cars built on Fast and Loud. Um, this is Buddy's that he just stores here. Nice. Really. <laughs> Clean. Is it a Trans Am? Yep. No, not a Trans Am. No, not a Trans Am. Firebird. Firebird. Okay, yeah. my bad. Nice. Got the Mustang Dark Horse and... Then What's up with the? That's the Thomas Crown Affair Mustang right there. That's the first one. That's his. That's his baby. When the weather's nice, he likes to cruise around with that. We built the second one uh, a couple years ago that we gave away last year. Cool. Badass little car. And then yeah, the, it is really this cool. is the first car Gas Monkey ever built back in 2004. Um, he's bought, sold it, bought it back many, many times, and we just put a LS3 in it, I believe, last year. Nice. But so I think we're gonna Love the probably do a chassis swap on it, new airbag, everything like that. Nice. Take it down to Lone Star Roundup. <laughs> yeah. You guys been out there? I um, have like once or twice. Well, that's a cool show. Love this car. Don't paint it, please. Don't paint it. Oh no. Oh no. Richard <laughs> has a hard <laughs> on for some patina. Yeah. As long as I think it's, it's cool. Surface patina, not actual rust. Here, what is this? So this is Phipps. This is his dad's car. This car is not left probably 35 mile range of where we're at right now. He's had it forever. It's a tank, but it's the sentimental value. Um, Phipps was actually taken to the hospital to be born, like in this car. Wow, really? So wow. yeah, yeah, it's been in the family huh. like ever since. Phipps more or less kind of learned how to like work on a car like from this car just kind of kind of like taking it like uh take, taking everything out of it so yeah it's a very like special car that's and really this cool is, uh, a car that we bought just at because? the auburn auction where we sold all that collection we were walking around the kind of the, they have a swap meet aspect to it kind of like pigs and uh richard saw this and instantly bought it I can see why this thing's super it's, cool. It's, uh, it's interesting. Well, if you, it's got if the Mustang like 2 front end. It's cool, but yeah, Daphne wasn't too pleased with the purchase. <laughs> oh, I love the dash. That's cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it is cool. It's got two tops. What? That's cool. Yeah. Is there right. another Mustang? I've never seen another Mustang like this. No, or Mustang like in general with two tops. Maybe for good to call it. <laughs> right. <laughs> and here we have a random yeah, this bright is gold from, Ranger. Uh, Twin Peaks. Oh, cool. Case in point of, um, he just buys random things and he's like, all right, I got a very cool idea for it. So yeah, then this is, yeah, is rocket this? car. 
Bought this actually in the uh, parking lot at Perry Jackson last year. Rocket car. So if you're interested in selling Richard a car, find us yeah. at uh, <laughs> He's got some money burning a hole in his things. pocket. What? <laughs> this is yeah, crazy. It's pretty, pretty cool. Oh, the keys are in it. All right, let's take it for a spin. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really cool. But it comes with the goggles. Check that out. That is cool. Yeah, then that's what? actual the rocket launcher. Like mission control thing that he bought wow don't know why he bought that <laughs> it's way too big it's just always in the way rocket control launcher like from the military yeah, yeah. what that's insane <laughs> that's yeah, cool it's, it's very weird but cool <laughs> then uh that block the zephyr right there that's also a little preview of a build coming next year cool very just clean. It's crazy how tall those set up. I've, yeah, it won't be. Most of them are that I've seen are slam for it will be. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> like a four by four. This car, this may be one of my favorites here. This is really cool. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> Very cool. Got a nice little lounge over here. Yeah, it's, this is that's our Steve McQueen room. Sweet. Um The idols, a couple people, Steve McQueen being one of them, and then you'll see one of the other is one of his other idols and mentors in the room over here. I've got a dragster over here. What is the land speed dragster or something? What is what's yeah, going on with this? Laser. I think we bought that at Meekum last year here. Cool. Don't know why we bought it. But, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's probably yeah. for the small block. <clears throat> so what is it? It's a. It's not a regular dragster, is no, it? Because I, I think it's called a, a lakester, right? Lakester. Yeah, that's huh. weird. Interesting. Yeah. Got the little skinny tires on the back <laughs> and the front there. That's pretty cool. What's the pup's name? Fifi. Fifi. Hey, Fifi. This is our shop dog. A lot of Hi, shops Fifi. have pit bulls. We have a standard pit bull. <laughs> She's pretty. Right. So this is the burnout yard out here. If you want to go through a set of tires, come out here to Gas Monkey and yeah, do a big burnout back here. Super vehicles we ride. Essentially bolt on. It's got all new Willwood uh, brake system, JTX wheels, general grabbers, and it's got the ranch uh, fiberglass camper shell on it. Nice. And a bunch of other upgrades. And in our POS lot, we like to, he likes to buy stuff, as we said next door. <laughs> so we actually just sold this Bronco. We bought this in Oklahoma about three weeks ago. And then our first build of the year. Um, is going to involve one of those three trucks right there. Nice. Uh, we are kind of doing something we've never done before. It's more of a community style build. So we are presenting these options to our fan base and everyone out there. Be like, hey, which one do you want to see us build? And then they get to kind of go along with the process and tell us what they want. Like whether, hey, throw an LS in it, Coyote, small block, and like what paint it. Okay, what paint it, what color, that whole aspect. So truly involve our community um, into creating a badass little vehicle. And that's cool. our tequila van. That's cool, I love that van. That van's pretty sweet. <laughs> that's there. really cool. I'm in the process of trying to convince him uh, to make it more of like a, not a DJ booth, but kind of intertwine the audio world into it yeah. to make it a cool little show truck. And this is another preview of a build. We have a lot of builds coming next year, uh, but that will not end up looking like that. It will be a short bed, but it won't be a short bed like that. It'll be really, really cool. Is it on air rad or static right now? Uh, it's on static. Cool. Uh, we are Pretty clean. Gonna put a dually short bed bed on it. Nice. And then super singles. Nice. Big ass engine. And just let it freaking run. Sick. We have in, there's another two Ferraris over there. There's a Corvette that we're gonna build. We have a lot of stuff here. Very cool. I like that old. What is that? Is that a that red that bus thing? looking thing? Uh, it's a crime. It's we haven't found anything on it like it on the internet. We bought it last year, but as the sun kind of faded, we were, it's a crime scene cleanup truck. Right. Huh. So it's a little weird, but really cool. We thought it'd be a cool merch vehicle because it has cabinets inside and out that open up both ways. Um, so it'd be a cool thing to bring up the shows of having a merch truck there that people can snack and gas. Yeah, that is cool. Oh, we got a 
pro mod body sitting back here. Yeah, tons some old of signs. signs. Tons of signs. Love these old signs. That's really cool. Huge Firestone sign. Wow, that thing is huge. Yeah. So we're actually in the process of all these signs are going to be coming up kind of around the complex. Cool. Um, in the next couple months. That crime scene truck is really no, cool. Really, really <laughs> that is cool. sick. <laughs> that is really cool. Yeah, it had like old uh, oxygen tanks and stuff in there. It's it's very interesting, but cool. And that Galaxy is it's a R, so it's a very rare. It's like it's really the NASCAR version of it. Oh, nice. and, uh, hey, Coley, what kind of engines in that Galaxy? The Galaxy? It's a it's a three ninety F three maybe. Yeah, but. Something super rare with it. It's the R code or whatever. So 390 FE race. That's Mike Coy. Cool. Mr. Mike Coy there is the man. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, that's the leftover from our C10. If you know anyone that needs uh, a frame bed, and a bed. Uh, if you need a frame and a bed for a C10, hit Gas Monkey Garage up. That could be yours. What is this? This is an old drag car? Yeah, this is from our buddies at Mopar 5150. Um, they were moving out of their complex, in, I believe in Alabama. And Richard bought this, it's called the Rum Runner. It's literally just a shell, there's no engine or anything in it, but cool art. Richard is loves cars, but he also sees the art and value of that. Of cars are art to him, so. It pro we would probably do anything with it besides maybe put it at our new restaurant or something like that. Oh cool, so y'all are coming out with a new restaurant? Yeah, so we're in the awesome. process of, uh, one, establishing a new flagship here of Gas Monkey Dallas, and then as well as a, kind of a, a new endeavor, it's called Gas Monkey. You do see the helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> Gas Monkey uh, Outpost. Um, so, for people in Dallas, like Cage Raw Ice House, or people in Houston, Kirby Ice House, more of just a, you wanna go hang out there, drink some beer, live music with your friends, uh, kind of thing. So we're looking in the property in Waco, as well as Sturges, um, for it, like where the bike rally is, Gas Monkey Outpost there. Cool. Just kind of truly expand the, the brand. Okay, there are two other Ferraris. That's the one that we had on the trailer, just like that, when we towed it. Yeah, that video went super yeah, viral, didn't super it? Viral. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. awesome. And this is another, I think what we took off this was just lug nuts. Um, this is probably the one that we're thinking about putting. Um, bolt holes in it? What's the story behind this? Yeah, there's bolt holes for the, from the movie. Okay, oh, so this is the movie car. Yeah, so all four, all five of them were movie cars. Okay. Um, or four or five. Oh, that one has, that one's full of bolt holes yeah. too. Yeah, then the Hero car wasn't, Hero car was a perfectly fine Testarossa. We sold that one um, last year. What movie were they from again? Infinite. Infinite, I have not seen it. 2021, some of that, Mark Wahlberg. Cool. I don't think it did very well. Because it was one of the COVID movie. Yeah. So every movie sucked. And our paint booth is also painted. Inside the paint booth here now. Yeah. Built a cannon, cleaned everything up, hooked us up, got us all new products. Nice. So this Dodge D100 could potentially be getting a Ferrari engine? Well, we've been teasing it. So <laughs> that would be so crazy. Dennis, about two years ago, <laughs> went out for lunch and some drinks, and on the way back saw this and stopped the car and jumped out and bought this immediately. <laughs> um, way the most expensive A100 you'll ever find because he paid way too much for it. But... We're like, we're, tr we're trying to sell it. If we can't sell it, um, me and Josh have had a couple beers and talked about it'd be funny to throw a Ferrari engine in it or maybe get the new Demon 170 uh, crate engine, throw it in there and just build. Heck yeah. Tire <laughs> that would be so cool. No, yeah, it would be really cool. I mean, they're <laughs> really, really cool. Trucks are unique. Also, just look really dumb for texas heat with all that glass yeah for sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah it gets really hot here that is really cool i'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do with that all right guys i hope you enjoyed that tour of the gas monkey garage thank you so much to richard rawlings and the crew at gas monkey stay tuned for lots of awesome things coming with sick cars and trucks and gas monkey